Alrighty, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can go ahead and install Minecraft RTX packs on Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. Now, uh, I actually have Minecraft Java open right now, so let me just close that. But yeah, um, basically there was an update to Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, and if you don't know how to get the update, I know a lot of people were having trouble with that. All you have to do is click get updates on your Microsoft Store here, and it will install the latest version which you guys can see was installed for me. It says moments ago, but I believe this was like yesterday, unless there was another update since then. But uh, yeah, so basically that's all you need to do to update your Minecraft for Windows 10. And once you have done that, uh, you don't need to launch the game or anything. All you need to do is go ahead and go to the resource underscore packs folder for your Minecraft Windows 10 edition. There actually is a resource packs folder for Minecraft Windows 10, but the problem with this is that it's extremely hard to get to. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, if you just go to hashtag app data, uh, or not hashtag, it's a percentage sign, sorry, percentage sign app data percentage sign, go into here, and then up here you're going to want to click app data, go to local instead, and uh, it should say packages somewhere, um, packages, and then you're going to want to go to Microsoft.MinecraftUWP, so it should be somewhere around here in the M's, uh, okay, Microsoft Minecraft UWP, and then you're going to go from there into local state, from there into games, com.mojang, and then eventually resource underscore packs, and here is where you can drop your Minecraft RTX like folders, basically your RTX resource packs, and they will load into the game. You know, they'll like you drop them here, they will transfer into this folder, and then you can close out of this and load the game up, and they should be there in game. And I will go ahead and demonstrate for you guys uh, now. Keep in mind, I don't know if you need an RTX card to do this. I personally have an RTX 2070 Super. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you can do this with like a GTX 1660 Ti, but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. There is, uh, all those cards can technically support ray tracing. It's pretty much up to whether uh, the developer, I guess, Mojang or Minecraft in this case, um, wants you to so i'm not really sure if they're going to allow that but how you enable these packs is you go into settings global resources my packs and they will be right here you can click activate on any of them my personal favorite is razzle core razzle core just looks cool i don't know it just looks amazing in my opinion um and it's the best uh but keep in mind the nvidia hd packs these two they seem to use a lot more system resources than the Muddle RTX or the Razzle Core. Um, personally, I think it's probably because they're more high res than anything. But yeah, and if you try to record Minecraft with RTX, be sure you use something like Shadow Play or something that's like built into your graphics card. Because for some reason, whenever I've tried to record Minecraft RTX, it's always incredibly laggy, even though I have a really good computer. And I've heard that same issue from other people. So you have to use something like Shadow Play. So I don't know, you guys could be seeing a slideshow right now, and it could be incredibly choppy. I really have no idea, but because I'm not actually using Shadow Play to record this, I'm using OBS. But uh, as you can see, it is indeed Minecraft RTX. We're not on the old beta version that you used to have to uh, install that told you, you know, Render Dragon and stuff at the top. This is the official version of Minecraft on Windows 10 Edition, and we have <laughs> ray tracing. It's it's pretty cool. Now, obviously, this doesn't look as good as like the Java editions. Uh, what is that shit called? It's like shader packs, I think. Yeah, it doesn't look as good as shader packs, but it actually looks better in some aspects. You just have to keep in mind, Minecraft Java Editions shader packs and stuff have been around for, I don't even know, like probably like 10 years or something crazy at this point. So it is going to take a while for Minecraft Windows 10's uh, ray tracing and the ray tracing packs and everything to fully mature and all of that. So just keep that in mind. But man, the reflections and stuff are just amazing on uh, Minecraft RTX. Like if we can find another body of water up here somewhere... Um, I know that I've already showed you guys, like, how to pretty much install things, so I, sh I should just uh, end the video off here, but I just want to show you guys, like, 
yeah like look at that water you can see like the moon reflecting there and like oh my gosh it's just amazing just awesome stuff but oh my god oh oh okay but you know you guys get it, it it's pretty cool um so yeah if this video helped you out make sure to leave a like comment subscribe share this video with your friends and favorite uh we'll see you guys next video and peace out